Good morning everybody. Today we are starting off the day with a nice breakfast but we came out on a balcony balcony to see the view and we have seen people plastic wrapping cars and then we figured out that they're actually painting the buildings uh, which is, was actually funny because people all of a sudden you turn around and there's a guy standing on our balcony but yes they've been uh, they've been doing all that it's a bit of construction and renovation going on making the buildings look beautiful once again but that's so considerate that they would actually plastic wrap people's cars so that no paint will go on it. I'm impressed. Enjoying your coffee? Always enjoy my coffee. Always. Especially when you're in Hawaii. I know, it's so beautiful. It's a bit overcast today, but the view of the mountains and everything else is so good. So good. We'll see where the adventure will take us today. <laughs> Snorkeling, I hope. Okay, so on this gorgeous day today, we are going up north of the island of Oahu and uh, we are hoping to visit some of the local places. Some uh, There's an old town there which looks brilliant, but it's kind of hard to say which place you're going to end up in exactly because sometimes you see something on the way that just grabs your attention. But we are going to go to um, an area where there are meant to be turtles, so we're going to go there and have a look. If we can find some, there are apparently... It's, it's not a... It's not a breeding spot, but it's a sun basking spot for them. So it'll be really nice just to see them and uh, see what they're like in the natural habitat. So that should be nice. So you don't want to interfere with anything too much as it is with nature. You know, you want to be respectful. So in saying that, let's go. Manish just got back. He picked up himself a rash vest, a new one. Mm -hmm. What did you get? Let's have a look. Open it up. <laughs> oh, it's the white one that we saw the other day from Billabong. Yeah, I like the look of it. So. Yeah, I like it. It'll Quite suit everything. Simple. Yeah, nice. What's okay. at the back? Same thing. Just the... Billabong. Yeah, I like yeah. that. That's really nice. Did you try it on? I did, yeah. Perfect fit? Perfect fit. And we've still got another week and a bit in Hawaii, which is great. I was also saying that if we were here for like five days to like a week, it would be terrible in a way. In the sense that, I mean, it's always nice to go on a holiday and just do things, but there is just so much to do here on this one island. And we would love to come back one day and just kind of figure out, uh, or, or actually not figure out, we kind of know where we want to go uh, to the either, other islands of Hawaii too. So, um, but Oahu has been so nice and, you know, we got a snorkeling gear yesterday. We went to Walmart and that's one thing that I didn't, I forgot my vlogging camera. I'm like, no, that would have been such a cool vlog. But anyway, um, yeah, we got uh, some snorkeling gear for a really good price too, so we really want to do some snorkeling whilst we are here as well. And I've noticed even yesterday people at Waikiki, they were snorkeling there for quite a while, so there must be obviously fish there too. So we're going to take that gear at any time of day and just kind of walk over to the beach and try that out. But today we are venturing out a little bit and uh, that should be fun. We just noticed a very interesting restaurant. It's called Fukiu and the Seafood. <laughs> yes, we all have slightly, um, I wouldn't say dirty minds, but... Your yeah. mind's in the gutter. Yes, the mind is in the gutter. Mine and everybody else's. <laughs> So we're on this highway in Hawaii and I noticed that even in Hawaii they have six lanes just in one direction. We don't even have that in Sydney. We have arrived at our destination. It's amazing. This place is so, yeah, we're just saying there's a lot of farms around and then beaches, beautiful beaches with the zero waters that surround the whole place. Definitely much more rough than at Waikiki. The North Shore is known for its large waves. Well, there are no waves in Waikiki, so I can see why that would be. And of course, some days you get more waves than others. So this area here is normally where the turtles would come up and yeah, but it's not exactly the best time of year, so and there isn't any today, but there is much more likely a chance um, that we will get some in the other area that we are planning to go to on another day. But still, it was nice to come to the North Shore. This is only one of the places that we want to visit. And they have like a little thing where you can care for the turtle. 
you can sponsor them or whatnot get a bit of education about them if you like it's really a nice place it really is wow look at those waves down there people all the way out there catching the waves definitely a beautiful place might just getting some photography done um, as well so we're just gonna and this is actually a really shady area too I was just gonna say it's uh, there's a lot of cover all around I'll give you a little spin here we go We've got a surfer going into the water now as well right behind us can we catch him somewhere there there we go <laughs> The weather is beautiful it's not too hot not too cold i'm amazed at the kind of winters that these guys have here i wish winters were like this in australia because it gets pretty cold there but over here it's just beautiful if you're in winter you can go to the beach you can go swim you can go to the beach and swim pretty much all year round and yesterday when i was at the beach um i was just like laying there in the sun and you know what you don't even get sunburned like the sun is so mild in comparison i'm used to kind of laying down on the beach you get super hot you go into the water right to cool down the water here is much warmer too but you go into the water to cool down you come back out your cozy dries within minutes and then you get too hot and you're back in the water and yesterday i'm like yeah we could jump in and out of the water but it wasn't even possible because <laughs> the cozy took forever to dry i'm like oh i better dry completely before we move on to doing like the next thing but it's still it's it's just like a totally different experience definitely awesome and i'm just surprised at how many things there are to do here and definitely it's like one of those places where you'd want to come back for more in the future we got some information from one of the lifeguards he's like if you guys want to see turtles you should go down to this smaller beach which is next to like a surf club or something anyway money has all the landmarks all the directions there so i hope that when we get there we'll be able to see something otherwise again we're just exploring the entire place and hopefully we'll see some interesting things everything is interesting so far because it's different right different it's beautiful regardless or like anywhere you look it's just it's stunning so you're gonna put that in yeah, I'm just adding in the name of the beach here because he said it's not guaranteed we'll see anything he goes, but it's probably our best bet today. It's a bit overcast today. It's covering all the mountains, but this is quite a nice place. And this is the old town of Haleiwa, which we are approaching. Good old Bob Marley. <laughs> surf and Sea Hawaii, a lot of surf shops. There's a surf central around here. So. Yep see why there's definitely some good waves yeah even on an off day mm -hmm. by their standards yeah keep right to Halei Ma Road here we are the guy was also telling us that we may be able to see them when they are feeding uh, in the water so not this yeah yeah go. yeah yeah sure right. so pretty much anywhere here we may be lucky to see one or two already out of the water but if not they're cruising around in there somewhere. <laughs> Unfortunately, no luck, but that's okay. Again, just exploring the place and it's a nice beach. We're thinking maybe we'll snorkel here, but it's just where it's like really shallow for a very, very, very long time and extremely rocky. So uh, I think today, today, well today, now we're gonna go um, maybe explore the old town a little bit more, um, see what kind of stores are around and then we'll move on to the next destination. We're now in the old town and on the highway there's basically all these little stores um, on each side. Mum would love one of these. I like this one. Always happy hour. Okay. Hawaii. Look for your mother, 22. <laughs> it's a beautiful show. Yeah. This one as well. Oh yeah, that's a Nautilus show. Yeah. It's really nice, nice items. North Shore Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha. Inside the court, oh, look, even they've got chickens. There's plenty of chickens running around on the island, actually. Um, obviously, they're not even being removed. And the interesting thing is, we've just seen a chicken that had babies and was still running around with them. Mm, 
Like the what? gentleman is just telling us that you this octopus you take Visa MasterCard. You do? Okay, yeah. beautiful. Is uh, made out of this shell. Mother pearl. Mother pearl. Yeah, yeah. One of these. The reason why they call it mother pearl because that's where the pearl grows. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. That's stunning. Look at that. The, the reason why the one with the shell is more expensive because it's harder. Yeah. Hardest material. This is soapstone. It's a soft material to carve. This is a seat which is even softer. And that's bone. Obviously, bone is very easy. Yeah. But the shell one is the hardest one. Hardest to one, carve. yeah. Yeah, you can have it. Oh, oh don't worry. careful. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> it's right. It's adjustable. It's, it's a symbol of intelligence. Symbol of intelligence. Yes, because they are definitely very smart creatures. Yeah. They say the octopus is as smart as a dog. Yeah, I think so. They have an aquarium in Pennsylvania one time yeah. and they keep finding fish missing. Oh, yeah. With a camera. And the octopus will walk from the, uh, you know, like the aquarium and he will go to, across the other aisle, eat a fish and come back. <laughs> they have to put a lid and cover it. That's smart. And the only creature in the ocean that when it lives in a place, it has to have a lid to cover it. So, wow. That is nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. We just got some local pearls which is really nice and the guy was really nice he gave us a really good deal and it's nice because you can barter with them here too so at the moment we're entering the Haleiwa art gallery so obviously we weren't able to do anything in terms of capturing anything in the actual gallery but I can show you a bit outside and understandably so I can understand why they wouldn't want us doing that but they had some amazing silk pieces yeah. didn't they um, woven silk Yes, woven silk, uh, amazing piece for forty thousand dollars. But it was truly stunning, and I can see why they would charge that much. But yes, a lot of locals driving around with cars, pumping music. I had to stop here because we have somebody that was making a lot of noise in between these sh bushes and shrubbery, and we've got a beautiful rooster that's hiding there. And he's not going to come out, but he's making a lot of noise just on the side of the road they're everywhere they're breeding here they're running around here I was hoping to show you guys look this is the road there we go We've got another one down there somewhere it's making a lot of noise obviously a little communication system going here okay this is from the other side don't want to spook him it's the last thing I want him to do is to run out onto the road with cars coming I suppose the cars must be really used to them but look at those feathers at the back absolutely stunning you're a stunning boy this place we're at here is called the North Shore Marketplace. Nice dolphins, everything in the same theme, of course. Picked up a hat, mm -hmm. a new one to rock. Let's see what you got. Just to remember the place by, I guess. This is where we're at. It's called Palaiva, so very nice. Nice hat, just to. And you're into your hats, so. Place, yeah. <laughs> so that's good. I love all the artwork that uh, is just everywhere on the walls. And there doesn't seem to be too much or really any graffiti around. Everyone's just appreciating the artwork, I suppose. Although it's a big and known tourist town here, it doesn't really seem that big at all. It's kind of almost more village style, <laughs> but it's beautiful. They're keeping it authentic. They're it's keeping it authentic, yeah, that's for sure. It's, it's really nice to see. There's the rooster again. So we have a courthouse here, and then we have baby chickens running around everywhere there goes another one and there's like a whole bunch of little ones over there it's so adorable i love it the roosters have been pretty busy <laughs> Shaved ice is a big thing in Hawaii, one of these traditional things that everybody gets. Just had some of that, and it's like it's just ice with like sweet syrup. So I tried some of Anthony's, I didn't get one, I wasn't sure whether I'd like it. I think I still prefer natural juice. <laughs> We've just pulled up not far from where we were and it's like a food truck 
place it's got all these different food trucks and there's a famous one called Giovanni's which has seafood as far as I'm aware it's meant to be famous so we're gonna go and check that out and see if the food is actually of the standard that I would expect it to be for being such a famous place so these are the prawns, the shrimp, shrimp, as they like to call it here, one hot and spicy, one called, is it scampi? Scampi, yeah. Which is like a garlic, lemony, and you get some uh, some rice with it. Gee, that sauce looks amazing. It's meant to be extra hot. It even says no refunds for the hot one. This one, fine, but not that one. <laughs> Thoughts on the nice, scampi? Very nice. Nice. Very nice. I mean, the nice, big, fresh. Now, the, now for the hot one. I wonder what your reaction is going to be like, because apparently they're very hot. They are. I tried a bit of the sauce and it's quite hot, so let's try it one. Hot? That burns. That burns? A lot? Hot. <laughs> oh, great. We made a new friend. A little dove. Hmm. Let's come to have a look at what we're eating. Flex the rice. Give it a little, a little bit of plain rice. Look, it's looking. Here you go. There you go, don't worry, I'm not going to give you the chili one. Oh, it's enjoying that. This little bird is coming up to our plates and eating all on his own. We're going to see if he's going to come and eat from the hand. Yep, no worries, no worries there. It's really friendly. Mm. <laughs> Alright, we're coming back now from after eating Giovanni's and the prawns were nice. You know, like we're used to eating prawns in Australia, so they were as good as they could get for sure but it was kind of like nothing new for us the sauce was interesting um i, I kind of laughed at the fact that it said it's like hot no refunds because i thought damn that thing must be like really really you know ghost pepper chili or something but it was more like a tabasco hot and if you've eaten tabasco or had it in cocktails like i have <laughs> i love my bloody marys that it's like a it kind of like it's a little burn that hits you and then and then it goes away so like it was really nice it was really nice both, both dishes were really good I want to show you one thing I have not been able to find anybody in Oahu that is selling coconuts and look at these coconuts on these palm trees I seriously just want to get up there and get them it's so unfortunate the rooster family in there just behind that truck it is definitely a beautiful home that the roosters and the chickens and the, all the birds little doves have in here